Well, welcome to Patina Lane. Today, we're gonna to start a new series on Would You Bend? And for those of you that don't know anything about it, I'm going to show you the principle. This is the greatest product that's ever been invented. I wish I had invented it myself. It is a wood product that comes hard. It's an applique, appliques that we can use to apply to our furniture, especially plain pieces that need a lot, of, a lot more pop, or as I use it often, to salvage a piece. And today I'm gonna to be working on a broke, a mirror that fell off the wall in my hallway at home. And it was one of my favorite little mirrors and we're gonna salvage it and repair it with Would You Bend. Now, as you can see, Would You Bend comes hard. This is drillable. You can treat it just like wood, although it is more delicate than wood. You gotta keep that in mind. It is when it's in its cold state, breakable. So you gotta remember that. But in its warm state, when you heat it up, it is bendable and cuttable. You can drill it, you can paint it, you can stain it, you can do anything you want to this stuff. It's the greatest project. And today we're gonna do a mirror repair. Well, as you can see, take a closer look at this. Here is the project that I'm going. The mirror fell off the wall. I got two nice big cracks over here, a big one here, and I even knocked out a piece here, which I never found the piece. I have no idea where it went, so it must have flown. So today we're gonna take this Would You Bend. Now, I heat my Would You Bend up on a griddle. You can also use a heat gun, or you can use a very hot hair dryer. If your hair dryer has a good hot setting, and what, in other words, it's almost too hot. If you put it on your face, it would burn. That will be hot enough, as long as the pieces aren't too thick. I like to use these old fashioned pancake griddle I've been using and I have it on 225 degrees seems to be in the US. In other parts of the uh, world, some of them only have uh, me hot, medium and cool. Uh, I would put it on between medium and the cool setting, but here I put it on 225 and that's just right to get it to the temperature I want. Now the first thing I wanna do is cut out the piece that I'm going to do. So I'm gonna take this hot wood, would you Ben? And I'm placing, cause I wanna cover these two cracks here. So I'm putting it over the crack where I think I want it. And then I'm going to cut it because you can cut this stuff. It's easier to cut this while it's hot, obviously. If you tried to do it while it's cold, it could crack. So I've got it in here. And it's bendable. You can see I can make it bend a little bit if I need to change the position because I'm really trying to cover those two cracks. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I can shave it down. And even if it was a tad short, when this stuff is warm, it's stretchable. So I've got that piece. No, it wasn't quite, it's a little too big still, so. I'm, I'm very conservative about this. So what I've done is I've got a major problem here because I have a big chunk broken out of here. So what I'm doing then is I'm going to put this piece in here like this and let it overlap on top of that piece like that. And we gotta get it glued down just like this. Okay, so let's, we're gonna heat it up. What I do is leave it on there. Let's get it nice and warm so it's flexible.
This is number 1400, I think. Mm -hmm. Way decent amount of glue on there, and I'm gonna have to probably hold it in place for a few seconds. I get one shot to put this on because I'm going on glass and I'm trying not to make a mess with glue on the glass, although I can always scrape the glue off. Okay, take that piece. And I'm trying to cover. There we go. Now, I'm going to hit this thing with the heat gun, but you gotta be a little careful, especially dealing with glass, because we don't want to break the glass. So, but I want to hit it with the heat gun so that that glue sticks. I have to work to get that glue off a little bit. And you can see it very quickly adheres on there. Of course, I'm using tight bond. This is super tight bond. Uh, tight bond. You have to use a wood glue when you're attaching this thing. Other glues will not work. They'll pop off. Gotta use wood glue. And I'm stretching it down in there. And just overlapping it. Hit it with the heat gun so it adheres. Now I've covered that spot that's missing. And you can stretch it into there. Whoops. Just getting it warmed back up again so I can manipulate it a little bit. seconds. Alright, as you can see, we've attached this. We can wipe off all this glue later. I'll get this glue off. It comes off the mirror really easy. So, got it attached. We've covered that crack. We've covered this crack. And now what I'm going to do is paint it with posh pigments and use some posh patina uh, on it and tie it all in here. I've got it taped right now because this thing was really damaged on the corner and it was cracking off. So I've wood glued that. I'm going to go ahead and put this product that's called Liquid Mask on here. And this is great. If you're ever having to paint right up next to glass, this is like the best stuff in the whole world. It's like a glue. And here's what's cool about it. And I'm only putting it up right next to where the glass is. You can put it up on what you're painting. Like this. And put it, I'm overlapping it on. And leave a leave it out a little bit further just where it's touching the glass and when i'm done i can score this right around and it'll peel right off and there will be nothing on the glass and it peels off really nice and clean and you don't have to worry about getting on the thing you're painting because it'll stay the paint covers it so not to worry this just helps with the cleanup at the end Okay, 
we're going to use the posh pigments and this is the most wonderful product in the world you want a really thick metallic look this is the greatest product to use so what i do is pour in what i think i'm going to need i'm using byzantine gold here so I put some powder in. Start with your powder, then add your liquid. Otherwise, you could have to end up adding a gallon of liquid. All right, I'm using Dixie Belle's gloss. Uh, Posh Chalk carries another product that you can use to liquefy your pigments. I'm just gonna pour just a touch in there. You just mix it into the liquid. Make sure you get all that powder in there. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be exactly the way I want it, so I'll just test it on my item first and see how it comes out. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, and then you just paint it on like paint, as you can see here. Okay. This has such wonderful coverage. It really does. Nice and look how pretty it looks with the original paint that's on there. Just putting a touch on the highlights. Pull this new color in. Get it started and then you just grab it and it just peels back off off the glass all nice and clean it's easier on a straight edge obviously like if you're doing a china cabinet or something see how that just lifts up i'll probably go along here and touch up some too all right well we'll be back when i get all this painted on and we'll do the next step after this <music> 